Alrighty, and then we have the battery. Ooh, that's gonna be a blooper. Hey guys, what's up? It is Ready, and this is Ready DIY. And today I'm actually doing something really different. I am doing a unboxing video. I've never done one of those and I know it's not a DIY, um, but it has everything to do with my channel and with everything that I'm gonna be filming coming up. So I am actually unboxing the Canon M50 uh, camera, obviously. And I'm so excited. This is the camera that I have been wanting basically since I started YouTube. I bought a less expensive one first. This is the one that I had before. It is the Canon, I think it's like the SX or like the 530HS, I don't know. Um, I think that's what it is but anyways also I'm a little sick today so bear with me um, and also I know it's January but it's like 70 degrees outside so I got excited and I put on like summer clothes so yeah so I bought this camera um, it has like a flash and everything but and it has an incredible zoom which I just it's an incredible camera, but it's more of a photography camera, and I impulse bought it just because I wanted to have something, you know, to shoot my videos on. Everybody was like, don't spend too much, blah, 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 don't just buy one, make sure it's the right one, and I didn't. I mean, I did, but the one that I could afford at the moment, uh, this one was super on sale when I got it, and I literally grabbed it from Walmart and they didn't have a lot of options. Also, I'm talking quiet because Finn's napping, so I hope you guys can hear me because I'm using my iPhone right now. I mean, my videos look fine, like it did a good job, but it doesn't have a flip screen, and so I it took me so long to film like even just an intro because I couldn't tell if I was in frame or not, so I had to like keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So anyone that's about to buy a camera, I do highly suggest a flip screen especially if you're like vlogging obviously that'll be a lot more important but um this is just one that didn't do it for me even though it's an amazing camera so i'm gonna probably sell it i think to my sister if she wants it and if not i'll just sell it um again the zoom is incredible but i don't need an incredible zoom at this point in my life for anything um, I don't take pictures like that when I do it's just for fun it's not something that I care about so um, so amazing camera but not what I wanted so it came in a gigantic box um, and it actually came really soon as far as shipping goes it only took like I'm gonna say it only took like a max of a week to get here and it was FedEx and they dropped it off at the apartment like main office anyway so I'm really excited let's get this open I should have brought scissors but I didn't it's fine just break my nails getting it open okay if you're just getting started an iPhone or whatever you have is an amazing camera like that's what I'm using right now um, I didn't make good lighting so you can't really tell at the moment but um don't do what i did don't impulse buy just use what you have until you can afford a really good one and then do a lot of research and make sure it's the right one for you and what you're trying to get done also when i bought this camera and maybe this is something that's always going on but it was like two hundred dollars off and then because the m50 doesn't fit all of the same lenses as some of the um, anyways point is that the M50 cannot fit all lenses that Canon carries or like just lenses it has to have an adapter and the adapter itself is like $200 but if you buy it when you buy the camera you get it for $50 so 
Um, again, they may always have that deal, but I did get it on, it wasn't Black Friday, but it was like New Year's Day or whatever, so they had some sales going on. Um, but yeah, so I got the mount adapter, so that's what came in this box, and I'll show you. It just, it looks like a really small lens, except it's just like open. So it has, and it's the mount adapter EF EOS M. Also, I'll link everything down below, so if you want to find it all. Um, the links will be to Amazon, just so that you can find it. But if you want, obviously, you can always go get it from Canon directly. It's always nice at Amazon because they have the little bundles you can buy if you want all the little things. And also, you can get, like, same-day shipping. So, this is what it looks like. And it's perfectly fit, I'm assuming, to fit on the camera right here. And then this is for the lens to attach. So, basically, it'll be like a sandwich. It'll be the camera the mount, and the lens. So, awesome. And then there's caps for both sides to make sure everything stays nice and clean. And then, there it is. And it does come with a kit lens. That's the one that I ordered. There are a lot of lenses that I wanna use. Like, three of them, I think, is what I wanna get. I'm struggling so hard with this box. Okay, I'm just gonna rip it, F it. That wasn't very pretty, but it's open. Ah, I'm so excited. Uh, more instructions. A really thick manual. Oh my gosh, that's way thicker than the other one. Um, and then you get a little thing telling you about using their online photo album. So I'm gonna do the less exciting things first. So less exciting things first, you get the uh, neck strap. So it's like the official, what am I doing? I'm unboxing. So it's the official, oh, cool. So it says Canon on it, but also it says EOS, which is kind of cool too. Something I've learned also off topic is that the M50 is perfect for me because it's something that you can vlog with because it's supposed to be really lightweight. And then also it's, like a real you know camera to film my videos too so what's amazing about this because I've kind of struggled with um, wanting to vlog a little bit more or like you know go shop with me or whatever but I can't take my big nice cameras and I don't like using my phone because it's so shaky so this one is supposed to both be able to work for no matter what I'm filming be better and also really cool thing is it minimizes the shock or like the shake so when you're using just your hand it's like stable like you don't see as much of the movement so that's something I'm very excited about as well um, so next is the battery it says Canon on it but I'll link also um, there are like extra batteries you can buy that aren't Canon brands so that they're cheaper and you can get like a two pack on Amazon. And so I will link that below. That's what I'm ordering myself. But obviously do your own research because I haven't actually used those yet. But I'm just letting you know what I'm about to order. So I'll link that below as well as like the real Canon ones too. Yeah, so it's just the charger for the battery. <sighs> okay, are you ready? Oh, I'm so nervous. So it comes in its own bubble wrap and then this like, I don't know what to call it. It's so pretty already. <sighs> okay, I'm trying to be quiet and not squeal really loud to wake Finn up, but oh, I'm so excited. And I got the white one. So look at it. Oh my gosh. <sighs> oh, and the screen. Stop. Oh. oh, I'm sorry, I probably look stupid. And then you can leave it obviously like that so that you can see it. Um, but it does have the protection of putting the screen on the inside and then it has grip stuff here as well as here. Um, 
and there's like a really good area to grip it so it's like thicker on this side um, now it is lighter than oh yeah it's not a ton lighter actually but it's definitely lighter and look how much smaller it is it's so much smaller now obviously let me put on the lens so you can see the difference of that but <sighs> I am so excited okay. and then mine is silver and you obviously have the cover on both sides this is one of the little squeeze so you just squeeze to take it off the front so this lens is the kit lens and it is a 1545 15 to 45 millimeter so as far as this goes you put it on like normal when you're using the kit lens you don't have to have the adapter did you hear the clink i hope you heard the clink oh that sounded good so that's actually what it looks like obviously with the lens i guess that was a stupid comparison at first so but it's obviously a lot smaller like the body itself um also this one i couldn't change out lenses it was so so sad oh uh, it is so pretty oh my gosh like even the buttons are like white and and silver on top so everything matches another really exciting part is that it has this on top that you remove and you're actually able to put audio like you're able to like hook up a mic on top like a road mic or something like that this right here is a mic input or output i have been wanting to plug in a microphone so bad to my other camera and there's no plug at all like you can't use anything because i even spent 70 dollars on a lapel mic because i was going to just like have it drag over and like come up and stick on my shirt um, and I got a Rode lapel mic and I'll link that below since I talked about it. Um, it works really well, but I couldn't actually plug it into my camera. I could plug it into my iPhone if I had all the adapters and everything, um, since I have an iPhone 8 plus, but okay, so I'm going to turn it on. All right. And it has... A switch right here also sorry I was gonna get my nails done but it didn't feel like it um, but it has an on off switch so you literally switch it on when you're ready I might even put the battery in that's good job charity also you obviously need a memory card that's really important or you won't be able to film anything I ordered this through Canon and so when I did that it didn't come with one but I believe the one I'm linking for Amazon does come with um, a small memory card to get you started. So if you need one, that'll work. Okay, I have to set the date and time. I forgot about all that. Okay, and then it says push and hold the lens switch. There's a lens switch right there. It says push it in the that way direction and then rotate the lens to enable shooting. Ah, so you have to hold it down and twist so that it'll actually come out. Oh, oh, it looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna record, I'm gonna record a little bit of Caroline right now and then of myself kind of vlogging with it and that way I can show you guys the difference. Okay, Caroline, look at me, baby. Caroline. Psst. She's ignoring me so hard right now. There's my can my phone. Already the quality is so nice. Okay, let me switch. Switch. Okay, so this is me holding the camera and I haven't turned on the stabilization, so it's still probably shaky right now. Um, and then I'll put it right next to my phone. Excuse me, Caroline, I'm sorry. Um, so this is exactly where my phone was, and already, like, the lighting itself, like, it looks better. Like, you can see me more, I feel. Um, obviously there's still shadows and everything, but, I mean, also I'm very curious what the audio sounds like just on the camera compared to the iPhone. I bet that's better too. We'll see. 
in a second when I edit. Oh, watch out, Caroline. And then you can compare it to my old camera also if you want by going like back to my old videos. I'm not gonna turn that one on because that one's not charged either, but, um, but yeah, just so you know, you can do that. This is amazing because I can see myself. Oh my gosh. This is, oh, I am so excited. Okay, I'll switch. Um, actually, why not just finish? Probably because the battery's gonna die, actually. Um, yeah, so I'll go right back to my phone, which I just realized I've been recording on the whole time. Um, don't look at all my trashy dirtiness back here, but this looks, I feel like it looks so good. It is tracking my face. I need to stop looking at myself and look at you. Anyways, so the lighting looks so much better. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm so excited. And yeah, so I'm just holding it with my hand right now. I haven't bought, I want one of those like flexible tripods or whatever that are flexible. So I'll link that down below too. It's in my cart right now. I'm probably gonna order it like on Thursday after I get paid again, I think. And so, okay, yeah, I'm gonna switch back one second. All right, and then the last thing in the box is this Canon. Canon camera bag and and then it comes with a separator right there so that you can do the camera and the accessories or whatever you want to do all right so that's about it I thank you guys for watching me unbox this camera again I'll have tons and tons of links below for you to kind of explore different videos on YouTube about the M50 and also of course I'll have links for everything I bought on Amazon and everything I'm about to buy as well. Again, haven't tested those things out, so I'm not vouching for those yet, but if you're interested, you wanna at least explore. Oh, also the flash, I forgot to talk about the flash. It looks so cute. Anyways, so that is all I have for today, and I will see you guys next week with the blanket DIY. Bye. Hey guys, so I already ended the video, I know, but I wanted to give a quick update about the camera because I've been using it all day, and I just want to talk about how amazing it is. I considered some other cameras, um, like the G7X, Canon G7X Mark II, um, that one's really popular, but I just saw a lot of reviews and I saw people comparing the two. And I just really thought this would be the best fit and it is it's amazing obviously I use the flip screen which has been fantastic when I take pictures it is so much faster than my old one like it is just instant instant pictures every single click um, and that's with the flash too the old one that I had it took seconds in between each picture um, especially with the flash because I had to like reload and this one isn't like that. This one is like so quick and amazing. And the pictures are insane. Like even with bad lighting. Um, it just like, and I know it has to do with the aperture. And I know also that this one isn't that low, I don't think. Um, but anyways, it's just such a big improvement. Um, the fact that I can even sit here like I am right now and it doesn't look that bad is fantastic. Also, the face... Uh, autofocus or face following tracking I think is the right word is amazing as well like I can be doing anything excuse me anything and it follows me the whole time I used it to film my DIY of this beautiful giant arm knitted blanket which you should subscribe so that you can see it come out next week but anyways um, and it was so easy to record with it it was ready to go instantly it has just like a little i think i mentioned it in the video but a record button so you don't have to mess with anything you just hit that button you're good to go and you actually turn the lens to do the zoom so it's not like <clears throat> the automatic one like my old camera had so it's really awesome you can adjust it very slightly and get it exactly to what you want so the overall quality is better um or is great the autofocus is amazing the speed at which it captures everything is insane and it's just overall a really 
uh, easy to handle camera and so I just wanted to say after actually using it for a day that I am very 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 happy with my purchase and if you have any questions about it let me know and I'm gonna stop talking because my voice is getting gross because it's late and I'm ready for bed so anyways I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next time bye Mwah.